I remember when he walked into that common room in the hotel and all of us went like, what, David's here? Like, it was, like, uh, it was uh, like a we looked exactly like this too. <laughs> this is what we did. This is my family now. I love these people so much. I've never loved the cast so much. I love you guys. Love you. Too. Love you. You're all in danger. Mom? Well, I'm Dylan Minette. I play Wes Hicks, and I think that Wes is the most cautious and overprotective friend of the group, which easily makes him uh, a little punching bag target of the friends. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I think Wes could be considered the nice guy of, of the, <laughs> new, the new friend. Very good. I play Liv McKenzie. And I feel like she's kind of a newer addition to the to the friend group, to the Woodsboro High High School friend group. And she's dating Chad, who is played by the wonderful Mason. And I feel like she's sometimes a little bit misunderstood by her her friends and her peers, but yeah, she has pink hair. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mikey. I play Amber. She is a high schooler at Woodsboro and part of the friend group. Um, she is best friends with Tara and she's very, uh, protective friend. Uh, hello, my name is Mason. I play Chad Meeks, Meeks Martin, and I'm the brother of the uh, of Mindy Meeks Martin, played by the incredible Jasmine, and boyfriend to Liv, played by the incredible Sonia, and he's a jock who likes to pretend as if he only cares about other people's safety, because uh, he's just that loving. Hi, I'm Jasmine Savoy Brown. I play Mindy Meeks Martin. Not Mindy Martin Meeks, as <laughs> Mason kept referring to us in press. Mindy is the horror buff, you know? She's very smart. She's pretty funny. She also happens to be queer, which is pretty cool. I like her a lot. Hi, I'm Melissa Barrera. I play Sam Carpenter, and she is everybody's mom. Just kidding. She's just not in the high school generation anymore. She is Tara's, Tara Carpenter's older sister. And she has left Woodsboro and hasn't been there for a while, but then, of course, has to return. And she gets kind of sucked into the whole killing spree that happens in this fifth movie. My name is Jack Quaid. I play Richie Kirsch. He's everybody's dad, in a sense, that he's not part of the high school generation anymore as well. Uh, he's dating Sam Carpenter, played by the lovely and amazing Melissa Barrera. And um, when you meet him, he's working with her at a bowling alley and he's he doesn't really know a lot about horror movies and and uh, the killings in Woodsboro, and he gets kind of a a crash course, uh, let's say, in this movie. He he learns a lot. There's certain rules to surviving. The attacks were all on people related to the original killers. Whatever his link is to our past, it's pulled us all back here. My favorite scary movie, it's gotta be Alien. That chest burster scene still gives me nightmares. My favorite scary movie, because it's tied to a lot of memories of me being young and I used to watch it all the time, is The Haunting. My favorite scary movie has gotta be Finding Nemo. I mean, that's terrifying. That scene at the beginning, mom dies. <laughs> the butt. Nothing sounds the butt, don't the touch butt. the butt. The butt. Hands down, Toy Story. Those horribly CGI'd <laughs> under the bed toys gave me that yep. for years. And and that'll never leave me or change me. Oh, my favorite scary movie. I, I love horror, so there's so many, but I think I have to say either Possession or The Wicker Man, which I think I made everybody who's on this Zoom watch on a projector right. in, the, in the conference. Like the second day we met and we it were It was like, amazing. It was, wow. it was so great. That's, that's, the Nicolas Cage one we're talking about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, the OG. Mine changes every day. I, I can't, I'm like just so indecisive. I always have, every day I have a different favorite of everything. Today, <laughs> I just, I'm gonna go back to like a classic Hitchcock. I mean, Psycho, you can't go wrong. I feel like that's legendary. Yeah, that's gonna be mine today. Oh, and Finding Nemo too, I guess. <laughs> what about Cats? Cats is pretty scary. That's Whoa. a horror film. Horrifying. <laughs> My favorite scary movie, um, besides Scream, because that's honestly my real answer, the original. I think the first thing that comes to mind is Hereditary. Like I watched that for the first time just a couple of years ago and I was I was convinced it was the scariest movie I'd ever seen. And I love horror and it takes a lot to scare me, but that was a nice surprise. I really love that movie. Hello, Sydney. I was very persistent with um, 
<laughs> my manager about wanting to be in this movie. I just would text every day being like, is there a role? Is there a role? Like, I want to be in this movie. And I, yeah, I mean, it's like, I'm still, the fact that it's coming out this week, I'm still sort of pinching myself that it's uh, it's real. You know, it's it's sort of, I feel like I can retire now. I can be done I'm, I, you know, <laughs> unless they ask me back for more. Um, I feel like I can, I can quit happily now. Uh, sharing a screen with all these characters and cast that I grew up, you know, loving and uh, Ghostface, all those things. Yeah, it's, uh, it's it's amazing. And then I think the first person that I met was um, David, David Arquette. When he, and so when he walked into a room for the first time, I was like, oh my God, right, we're shooting a Scream movie. Like it's just, it just <laughs> sort of hits you because we were, you know what I mean? I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but that's sort of- Oh, I know the exact moment. moment. I remember when he walked into that common room in the hotel and all of us went like, what, David's here? Like it was- <laughs> <laughs> Like we looked exactly like this too. too. <laughs> this is what we did. I, I remember feeling like the whole time, like how, like, do I belong here? <laughs> like, how am I? Here? It's pretty insane, especially for me that this is like my first. You know, it's 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 pretty mind blowing. What I really take away from this is the relationships that I I built with these wonderful humans and the connections that we made and and the memories we had. Like, even off screen, I have the most incredible two months, like memories. And we have a, we have a, like a common, um, what is it? Like a, a group chat? Yeah, the group chat. No, but where we have all the photos, the. Oh yeah, shared album. It, the shared album. Oh, and shared that album. is my favorite thing to do, to like go back and look at all our, our silly videos and photos that we, we shot during that. I love you guys. Love you too. Love you. I've always loved horror and I've always wanted to do a horror film. So I think for Scream to be the first horror film I do, it's so exciting. It's like one of the most iconic horror franchises. So I think I just felt incredibly humble the entire time. And I mean, I've made so many incredible friends on this movie too. So I'm, I'm really grateful for that. I mean, I have to say working on this movie was like a specifically incredible time in my life. Like I. It, it, it was like one of the funnest times that I've had on set, on any set, really. Other people will agree with me that it was just incredible. Um, it was like summer camp, but, but we were making a movie. So I, I don't know, I, it was a pretty special experience. I would say, obviously, given uh, the dynamic on set, both with Legacy and New Cast, it was incredibly educational, both in seeing how people who've been doing it for so long approach their craft and people who are kind of figuring it out at the same time you are. So it was engaging. That being said, the time off set, we all got cars for some reason. Maybe it fits my aesthetic. I was gifted a uh, <laughs> soccer man that sat nine. So I tended to be, if uh, if Jack was dad on set, I got to be a uh, dad off set and drive people to the beach. And I feel like I learned a lot about people I genuinely care so much about just on long drives to and from uh, little events. First, I ditto everybody that this is, this is my family now. I love these people so much. I've never loved the cast so much. Everyone's saying such good answers to try to come up with something new. I learned a bit more about geography because I always thought North Carolina was next to Texas and it wasn't until like two weeks <laughs> into shooting that someone goes, you want to go to the beach? And I was like, you mean Lake Silly Goose? Like, no. <laughs> We mean beach. There's so many memories of us in the common room, just like playing board games, playing a very specific board game that we were all very into called Secret <laughs> Hitler. It sounds awful, but honestly, it's so fun. And so we would just yell at each other and get very into it. But I feel like a very special memory that I will always cherish was Halloween, because we were shooting during Halloween. Mm. And uh, I mean, this isn't a spoiler because, you know, people know that there's the original house the from the first movie. So so they rebuilt it on a stage with with like a front lawn and everything. And so for Halloween, what we did is we did a picnic on the front lawn on the stage and we all ordered an Indochine. <laughs> Shout out Indochine. Indochine. Uh, we all ordered the, from this amazing Thai spot in Wilmington and we watched the first Scream movie all together. It was really special and we just hung out there and then we like went into the house and just, you know, toured it and did silly videos and had fun. And so that was a very special night. Did they ever release those videos or were we too goofy? <laughs> I, I hope we not. I don't think they were. It was, it was, oh yeah. it was <laughs> Halloween and let's just say we were blowing off steam. Um, the Halloween night was particularly epic. Um, I don't know. I think it's just the fact that we got to all be together with this community of people that we never knew we would love this much during during a time of, you know, a kind of a terrible time in human history, we all felt really lucky. You know, we went from like basically 
isolating ourselves to being able to hang out with these wonderful people around me in this in the Zoom window. You know, I, I, I still am grateful that I had like, I, I got to experience this with you guys. You know, like you guys are this movie to me and you're some of my dearest friends now. And I'll, I'll that'll never, I will never forget that. I will never stop being grateful for that. If I had to pick one memory, a, a couple of us have said this in interviews before, cause it's like all we can talk about, but David Arquette uh, in like the first week sat us all down in this common room that we had in the hotel where we played all the board games and he just taught us how to paint like Bob Ross. Um, he <laughs> is a certified Bob Ross painting instructor because of course he is. And he, we were all kind of on these tables around him. He sat in the middle and checked in on our artwork like he was like a real art teacher because he is and uh, you know, I don't know if this was intended as like a, a hint or anything, but the philosophy of Bob Ross is very much like, don't overthink it. Like, I don't know if he was trying to send us a message of like, don't overthink it, just have fun. But I think it, it intended or not, it got in there. And uh, it was uh, it was so great. I love David a bit, he's amazing. I left my painting behind because I'd rather forget my painting because it, <laughs> uh, I thought I can't draw or do paint or do anything. So I thought mine was really amazing. And then I remember like looking at Melissa's specifically and I was like, Melissa's was amazing. Oh. Jack, yours was really good too. And Mason's in the other Mason, room, y'all. Mason's was it? like, Mason's had like a pink sky. Like oh, kept yeah, working like, on it Mason's for days. No, Mason went back and, and painted a second Mason, one. Mason, go grab it. Pull <laughs> it out. Mason right kept working on it for weeks, I feel. Like yeah. we just been hanging out in the room, playing games. He's like, hey, want to go to the beach? LOL. He's like, no, I'm painting. <laughs>